Hey guys, and welcome back to more Daymare 1998. When we last left off, we'd managed to get ourselves out of the spooky underground. And now, we're trying to locate our crashed friend. Uh, we need to get power back online, which we can do. Uh, also, peep this texture. This is weird. This is like an LOD issue going on here. And it's something that really kind of... It's questionable, man. I like, I, I don't know, it's obviously an oversight by the developers that the colours seem to switch in and out like that. But hey, whatever. Anyway. Luckily, we have found the cure for what ails us. Uh, oh, we can also get Agent Crane there as well, which is very nice. Oh, and we have another magazine. We have another magazine for a handgun? Yeah, um... Do we want another magazine? I mean, maybe. I suppose we can load up some, uh, decent ammo, I guess. Sure. Right, so we're back on 59 health now from munching down that chocolate bar. That's cool. So, HDR002 Golden Fleece. Use antiviral. Used exclusively to stem and eliminate the replication of Pollux infected cells in subjects who not... Who not present a... Oh, who not present a prolonged infection. In the case of the prolonged infection, in fact, only 36 hours is enough, intercellular fusion is such that the process becomes irreversible. Composition, composed mostly of concentrated doses of hormones mixed with a serum extracted from the hybrid jellyfish of the North Fall Islands. Conceptually, the high dose of hormones goes to uh, anethesize the cells affected by the virus, making them passive and blocking their replication, whilst the regenerative ability, uh, capacity driving... Uh, deriving from jellyfish is used with a process whereby infected cells are themselves victims of regeneration and therefore regenerate until they're healthy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were words. They were definitely words. Okay. Okay. Now, if we could just get unstuck. Oh, yeah, we've got to go read those diaries as well, haven't we? All right, that's going to fire up all these systems. Excellent. Bring all the power back online. Let's go hand in our chip and read the other docs. Yep, so I'm pretty sure we actually get the Desert Eagle in there. But of course, we've done a thing, so that means enemies. Yep, I was going to say, oh, does it? Yes. Yes, it does. Of course it does. Come on, you shambling bastard. There we go. Is it just the one of you? Really? All right. I guess just the one of them. Could have sworn it was more than one. Usually they come in packs of two. Right, let's go hand our chip back in and read those diaries, which I absolutely, definitely, 100% did not forget about, you cheeky bastards. Okay, I might have forgotten. Ah. Ah, right. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, where's the machine? Oh, right, yeah, it's through the secret doodad, which I definitely did not forget about, you cheeky bastards. So, Agent Crane. Oh, right, these are all... These are all secret little uh, thingity what's it? Because, of course, they are. Uh, now, we need... So, what's the first one? HB338. HB338. Uh, right, here we go. Agent Crane. Hexcore biogenetic. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm really starting to hate this job. The city that fucked the dam has been. Really? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 
right. Is this the is this the right one? Yeah, okay. I'm really starting to hate this uh, this job. The city that fucked the dam. It's been six years since the government sent me to this piss pot in the forest. Yeah, I risk my life twice as often as I did in the Gulf. And what's with all the secrecy? The code names and crap they give the population to our brothers. I received really good offer to work as a security merc for a Japanese multinational. That sounds like a good idea. I may just take this opportunity to cut the umbilical that has tied me to the company for years. Being an operative of Hades and training with these men taught me a lot. But now I think it's time to give the trigger a rest and focus on the future. And more importantly, get as far away from Lev's peck ahead, peck ahead uh, as I possibly can. If he weren't so arrogant and precious, he'd make a fine leader. But so long as he puts his interests before others, he'll never make top dog. And nobody will trust him with their lives. Especially not me, that's for damn sure. Right, so people weren't exactly happy with Lev, were they? So, uh, next guy, this is Jay Lilfgro. Damn, I thought I'd be smart to leave the van behind, avoiding the engine noise of this piece of junk. Take to the woods on foot in order to reach the dam where everybody is stationed. But when I got to the hill, I saw what caused that unne uh, unearthly noise a few hours ago. There it was, a copter, up in flames, a great big iron womb practically glowing with the company's logo. I have no doubt that it's somehow connected to what's going on in the city. Anyway, I was about to head on past when I heard the most unusual noise from the trees. An animal cry, followed by blinding pain to my back. Whatever attacked me, I didn't stick round to find out. I think I saw two of the things, but they moved so fast I can't be sure. In fact, I didn't see the one coming that ambushed me from the shadows and slashed my back with its huge claw. Now they're tracking me. This is their neck of the woods. Best figure, the best I can figure is they're going to take me down and eliminate anyone with balls big enough or stupid enough to trespass. I'm not even sure how I managed to make it back to my post and shut myself in. Uh, but it doesn't feel safe in here. Even if I step outside, I'm dead. If I stay here, I'll bleed to death. I just want the pain to stop. Hmm. Two things in the woods by the helicopter crash. Oh my. Walk softly, gentlemen, and carry a large gun. Uh, so, HB, so this is Ryback. The army's finally here, parading around a few feet away. Their green garbs and gas masks, fucking idiots. They don't even realize the threat isn't airborne. Not anymore. I know they won't let me go. Even though I work for the company, I read the emergency protocols. My position isn't high enough on the pedestal to warrant a safe extraction but a rather swift execution as some of the su uh, test subjects. A number to be checked off, they're close now. The only thing I can do is make a break for the car and hope to get across the border. If I make it, I'll rat on those bastards in front of a judge. If I don't, I just hope the confession is enough to nail Hexacore. Well, maybe. Also, um, last time I was recording this, which was... Nearly a week ago, uh, I said that I downloaded the demo, didn't I, uh, of the second game. Still haven't played it. Haven't had time. So I might have a little peep at that later today. Apparently the demo is like 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 o'clock? Like an hour long, I should say. What I was going to say is maybe about 8 o'clock I'll, I'll fire it up. But what I'll do is I shall... Oh, hello. I forgot about you. All right. Easy there. Really? See? Double tapping these guys isn't a waste. Yep. And then we shall upload that. Uh, 44 health. Let's smoke one of them. How much health does that actually give us? I think they give us like 30%. Yeah, you can see how much overdose that gave us as well. It gave us something like uh, maybe a quarter of the overdose bar thing. Which is interesting. Because 
you'd have to take like four meds in one go. Yeah, so they give you about 50% health, something like that. You'd have to take four of those meds in one go to like overdose. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't really imagine when you'd ever have four of those. So, uh, or need to use four in quick succession either. But whatever. Whatever. Let's go back and see what's going on at the pumping station. There's also an achievement in the pumping station that I missed. Um, I should be able to pick it up here though. I know it involves a DeLorean. So let's go have a look at that. And there's a gentleman over there having a bit of a bad time. Actually, if we peep this motherfucker here. Hmm. I thought he had the uh, Desert Eagle. Maybe he doesn't. All right, whatever. So we can now go in there. Did I read? I've got a feeling that I've missed a dialogue uh, file around here somewhere. I might not have, but we read the Hades, the Caster Hades dude. Ah. Uh, this is where they were burning the bodies. Didn't really go very well for them, did it? But no. Alright, maybe the dialogue thing that I'm looking for is inside. We have a very Xbox 360 texture there. <laughs> but again, we're not going to judge it because, yeah, it's a budget game. Kind of. And well, that's fine. And there's our DeLorean. So somehow... Ooh, damn. Somehow... I'm sure we can examine this DeLorean and, and pop an Achievo. Uh, maybe not. Alright, curious. I'm not sure. Not sure about that one, then. Whatever. Um, right, let's have a little scout around inside here. Yep, yeah, thought as much. Come on, love. You and me, bitch. Let's dance. Done already? <laughs> Alright, cool. Definitely have the energy bar. Yeah, I. there's definitely 100% a achievement... Uh, involving a DeLorean in this game. Maybe I got it. I, I, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Whatever. It's not really a game that uh, I'm that bothered about achievement hunting on, to be 100% honest with you. Uh, right, so there we have the first aid kits again. Those first aid kits are everywhere. Ah. Red rum! I never actually checked this. Is that not an achiever? Surprising. Whatever. Okay. Let's see what we can find out, down, and around here. Now we can beat the boop. Oh, you just got a save spot. Ah, right. Power station card. Yeah, because although we've turned the power back on, we still need... A card to access it. Right, that's where the D-Eagle is. Got ya. It's going to be kind of instrumental. Ah, look, there's a log there as well. That we almost missed. So, August 20, 1998. Early afternoon, Soldier's Diary. Although we were trained physically and mentally to handle extreme situations, no one can truly be prepared for a nightmare like this. When my department got alerted last night, we only had a few minutes to sit up and truck out to a small town in the middle of nowhere. I could tell it was no ordinary mission by a supervisor's stunned look, but when is it ever when our uh, anti-terror anti countermeasure unit is deployed? That being said, 
I never imagined something like this. We arrived at dawn, after what seemed like an endless journey of mountain woods, and we were immediately attacked by a group of crazies before we even had time to establish a perimeter around the gas station. We put them down like dogs when they attacked us, injuring some of my teammates. Our orders are to patrol the road into town and quarantine the entire area. It's easy to guess that some kind of disease must have gotten out. Once barricades were in place, we threw the bodies into a pile and burned them. While the medics set up some kind of makeshift ER to try and save the injured infected subjects for their little science project. Despite all hell breaking loose, it's calm now, which ain't so bad. Now I have time to make a note about what happened here, I feel surprisingly well. Evening. Looks like the next few hours will be the last for this town and its helpless inhabitants. Maybe even ours. I heard Lieutenant Ford on the radio with the command over at the dam. It seems like we've been celebrating our victory a little too soon as the infected are tearing apart our men on the streets. Now we've lost communications with all units and according to the latest comm, a horde of infected are making their way here. General McClintock has decided to proceed with the clean slate protocol and burn the whole place down, along with everything in it. We've been instructed to hold our positions and halt the impending attack until further orders are given. We're supposed to shoot to kill regardless who it is, infected or not infected. Because they could be carriers of this fucked up disease, I don't know. I don't like the idea of gunning down innocent people. Just like I don't like the look of my supervisor. From the start, we've only been given as little intel as necessary, uh, as necessary about what's really going on here. But it's getting late now. There's nothing more to do but restrict access to town. Keep those monsters at bay and pray to God Almighty that we live to see another sunrise. Marv. Well, it doesn't look like Marv had the best time. Although I'm not really sure who Marv is. This dude doesn't look like a soldier. So the Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle's cool. It takes magazines, whereas Sam's does not, because Sam's has got the six shooter. And it holds more bullets. It seems to do the same amount of damage. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool weapon. Right, let's get out of here. Uh-oh. 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 All right, gentlemen. Let's give you one big load in the chest. One in the head. Two in the head. Eh? Eh? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright, Raven. Now, back to the power uh, station. Let's go. I don't trust those guys, because sometimes they take an incredible amount of um, ammo to put down. Other times they'll just take one shot or something to the chest. Now, uh, like I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but um, the actual slug ammo for the shotgun is actually more powerful than the magnum rounds, but it has its own set of caveats. But that's okay. We good. Looks reasonably clear. Okay, cool. Let's go. Beep. Now let's get our asses up. Let's see what's going on here. What actually do we have on us? Oh god. Oh, we're fine. Alright, cool. Alright, well, we've got some fire up here. Fire's generally not a good thing. And here is our helicopter. Or at least what's metal <laughs> left of it. The metal womb. Which was an odd thing to say. What the fuck are you supposed to be? Ah, we've already seen these things. Fucking hell. It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. 
So this is like a boss fight. Um, but it's like, you know, the world's easiest boss fight. So, wouldn't worry too much about it. At least I assume this is kind of like a boss fight. He's dead. He's down. So, you do tons of extra damage if you shoot these guys in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of really sad when you think about it. Christ. What a mess. Please don't be here. Thank God. Looks like he made it out after all. Where did he go? Where indeed? Where did you go, Hayden? Right, well, before we get out of it, we're going to have a little look around and loot. So, what's left in our Desert Eagle? Three rounds. Alright, not bad. Yeah, so this time round, at least we could actually kill those things. So, when you use the uh, Magnum to act. Whoa! 17 shotgun shells. 17. Jesus. There's also another magazine there for the Desert Eagle. A whole magazine. Well, yeah, a whole magazine. Ten rounds. Alright. Now, I think there's like a health thing around here as well, somewhere. Uh, maybe around the helicopter. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a health pickup. Ah, there it is. Not that you really need it, of course, but yeah. Those guys are kind of pathetic really so when you shoot them uh, with the desert eagle uh, to drop them to their knees you are actually doing damage to them by a twist of fate raven somehow manages to defeat the deadly new menace that attacked him in the crash site he lets out a sigh of relief for not finding Sandman's body amongst the debris. Yet there are still no signs of where he could have gone. The only thing that remains to do now is head for Hexacore's headquarters in the core of the Lair Dam and try to find a way to establish direct uh, comms with the Major. Hey, our red friend's back. Okay, now apparently that's like all the secret documents because um, we don't have any more to find. So, yeah, that should give you a rough idea of how far we actually are through the game. Which is a little bit deceptive because uh, this is still chapter three. We've got chapter four and chapter five to go yet. But those chapters are actually... I mean, they're not tiny, but they're not exactly long, so. Chapter 2 and 3 is absolutely longer than anything else in this game. Damn, Raven. Some bad shooting. But it's fine. They give uh, ammo out like candy in this game. Apparently on the harder difficulty, like, ammo is a bit rarer. It's not, like, humongously rarer, but it is rarer. So. Now, there's actually kind of like a weird little hidden Achievo here. Um, so, uh, I'll explain it in a minute. Right, any other goodies around? Bear in mind, we've literally just got 17 shotgun shells in one, like, pickup, which is kind of insane. But, you know, I'll take all the ammo I can get. Just means we get to have more fun. Now, we are going to come up to a section in the next chapter that is really, really going to drain our resources. But, looking at the amount of equipment and ammo we've got, 
that's not really a bad thing. Can we use... I know, you can't actually swap the magazines over in the inventory, which is strange, but fine, I guess. Alright. So, to the attention of General McClintock, in accordance with the Department of Defense and Central Intelligence Agency, we're ordering the implement implementation of Clean Slate Protocol for the town of Keensight and surrounding area at 6am uh, on August 21st. Primary proceedings. The Hexcore facility is equipped with an internal self-destruct system, which by detonating over 200 pounds of C4 planted in the dam's wall, will completely annihilate the research centre as well as the town. That is now irreversibly lost. Authorised Hexcore personnel uh, still present in the facility will assist you in arming the system. Secondary proceedings. In the event that the self-destruct system cannot be activated, you are authorised to destroy the dam manually using stocks of explosives that are being sent out by air. Before proceeding, in either case, please ensure that all VIPs and classified research samples have been retrieved and handed over safely. Lieutenant J. Kendrick. Alright. So here... Oh, hello. Hello. Quite enough of your nonsense, love. Solved her problem, didn't it? Right. I wonder if these are all full of bodies as well. Probably. So here we need to uh, input an ID password. However, uh, nowhere out here actually has an ID password. An ID password. So, if you run around a little bit, uh, it doesn't take long either. Raven, dear boy Raven, will actually give us a bit of information and tell us what we need to do. Eventually. Or maybe you just have to stand still. So we need a password. Now when we go to the uh, actual system, it says our name. All there we go. Core agents have an ID that they always carry with them. Sure, I can find it if I look hard enough. So there we go. Cryptic message is extremely cryptic. But all that really means is if we go into our PDF thingy, what's it? Uh, and we go. I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Our ID code is 91. 455 which is interesting 91455 and that will allow us to get inside this incredibly intimidating door ah uh, thank you now I think what would have been really cool is if that door closed behind you but it doesn't Bit of a missed opportunity, I think. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. There you go, fucker. Now I know... There is... A gentleman waiting in here for us. There he is. See, I remember stuff. And that down there, I believe, is a um, melted man. But that's all right. We're going to keep all of our hollow points. Um, in fact, actually, we have just a ludicrous amount of ammo now. We don't need to worry about that. We want to keep all of our enhanced shotgun ammo. For sure. You know what? Let's just give him some shotgun therapy. Alright, Mr. Belted Man. 
Let us dance. There we go. Yeah. Bit funky to avoid that sometimes, but whatever. Oof. Nasty. Not much to look at when you scrape them off your boot. What is our health like? 61. Uh, let's chow that. Probably use it anyway to use up some of our ammo, in all fairness. Or to free up some space so we can pick up some more ammo. Which is more apt. So what have we got here? More shotgun shells. Very nice. Would have been a shame if they didn't replace those uh, shotgun shells straight away. Come on, sir. Take your medicine. Really? Bullets are literally going through his head. Like, right through his head. Um, now. Ooh. Didn't even notice those. There we go. That frees up another inventory slot. Nice. Now, if we go up here... Pretty sure, yeah, there's a hackable door. Which, don't mind if I do. Hard difficulty, should be fine. I swear that is, like, really difficult to fuck up. I remember you, sunshine. Have you? Energy drink. I can't remember what we're getting here. It's probably something, you know, pretty good. Ooh. Action Express ammo. Cool. Let's go and slot those heavy puppies into there. And in this one, an energy bar. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. I guess, why not? When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Eat energy bars, I guess. So, what's all the way up here? Zombies? I mean, these guys are definitely not getting up, are they? I know a trap when I see it, game. Ah. Ah, yes. Now I do have the code written for this somewhere. Five. Yeah, we actually find this code if we went the other way first. But obviously, we did not. Ah, right. The, yes. Yeah, I remember. The only thing that's actually in there is a bloody uh, bobblehead. Which is a bit cheeky cheeky if you ask me. But, really? Like the world's strongest zombie? Honestly, sir. I mean, really? You naughty little sausage. I like the way we've got the Desert Eagle in a holster there and our handgun on our hip. See, they did put effort into this game. That's the thing. Uh, so we've got another energy bar. I guess we can chew that down. We do have a health med, but I don't really want to use that. We'll save those. Save those for when we need them. Okay. Shotgun is loaded and ready. Ah. Evening. Got a type 2. <laughs> Alright. Sure. I wonder... How many, like, handgun shots it actually takes? Out of curiosity. Yep, 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, you really don't want to be fighting those things. Um, with the bloody handgun, do you? Like, you really don't want to be fighting those things with a handgun. I mean, maybe with the explosive ammo, perhaps. Let's have another go at that, shall we? Yeah, different ball game now, isn't it? There we go. Are you dead? Don't worry, I got time. He's dead. Right. I still don't trust those guys. Like, always looking over my shoulder. Trust you. <laughs> didn't trust you either. Sweetheart. Stop twitching your head, you bellend. There we go. That looks like our Red Dead friend has come back. Also, I really want to do a walkthrough for Red Dead Redemption. Uh, it's been on the cards for a very, 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 very long time. However, um, with all the rumours for the remake, I'm just holding out flat, I think. Those zombies never seem to get up. Or those corpses, I should say. What about you? Did you get up? No. Up, up and away. Alright, let's load up some more bullets. We could use a uh, inventory item box thing relatively soon. Pretty, oh, I don't know actually. I'm saying I'm pretty sure there is one in the not horrifically distant future, but actually, I can't remember. We'll figure it out. Evening, Chief. How you been keeping? Been keeping well? That's what I thought. Alright. Whoa, Jesus. I think his teeth came out of his skull and almost hit us in the face. Not cool. Exploding teeth zombies. I can dig it. Cool. <coughs> Let's go inside. After a few steps beyond the threshold of Lair Dam, Raven sees that nobody is safe from the deadly infection. Not even Hexacore's own battle-hardened soldiers at headquarters. Neither the US Army nor the company's secret operatives have found a way to combat the infection. Much less the creatures born from it. Even now, the sure signs of a monstrous run-in make for a bleak and gruesome scene of war. Or something. All right, into the facility. I don't know why it always like turns our flashlight off whenever we, uh, you know, enter this place. Uh, this episode's getting a little bit long in the tooth, but we are very close now to the end of this section, so we'll finish it. I could cut this video up, I suppose. Oh, hello. I suppose, um, but. There's no point. Right, so that there is a mental fluid, I believe. Do we want the mental fluid? I mean, actually, what we could do... Drop that. Pick... 
No, no. The, the, the F, dude. The F. It's saying F to pick it up. Literally saying F to pick it up. Thank you. But he's still examining the desk. Alright. Okay. Now let's push further inside. Evening! Come on, love. Step right up. There you go. See that noggin of yours? <coughs> yep, she's done. I think she's done. She might get up again. Cool. Now, all of these doors, from what I can remember, apart from that one that's opened, are locked. Ah, actually, I think there's a hexacore thing in here somewhere. But I don't think we have access to it yet. Oh, I wonder if there's a zombie in that room. I wonder. Something's sticking his hands out. Yeah, we can't do anything here either. That's fine. And down here we've got a server room. With some squish dude. Notice how there's no, like, patch cable here? When we come back here, like, in a minute, there'll be a patch cable. And I do mean kind of like a hot minute, because... We've got to do another bit with Sam, yep. See, I can't remember if there's a file in here or something. Ah, no file, but there is some shotgun shells. And you know me, guys. I like my shotgun shells. Model of the uh, town. Oh, that looks it. Major, Major, do you read me? Can you hear me? Major. Damn it. Just the unit working. Sandman, you there? Do you read me? Raven, you're alive. I just figured you'd be dead after what happened aboard the chopper. I should say the same for you. That's when I found Crane's body in the wreckage. I... Yeah, I thought for sure. Crane's body? You found his remains? Yes, sir. Near the crash site. I gathered as many samples as I could to use against Lee when this gets back to command. Second major, we can't just waltz through the front door. It's totally fucked. And even if we got through, those freaks are still parading around inside. I did find another chopper we could use. I think we should just rendezvous on the rooftop and get the hell out of here before it's too late. You did? Hmm, Sandman seems to not be the evil piece of shit we thought he was. At least, something's not quite right. Hmm. After finding his way out of the deadly labyrinth of Sacred Heart Hospital, Samuel continues his relentless pursuit of Sandman, blinded by his rage and lust for revenge. But on the streets of Keensight, he will soon discover that the real nightmare is far worse than anything he'd previously imagined. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.